हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट फाइव ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू सिंपल क्वेश्चंस बट दीज क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस आई एम श्योर दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द एक्सपीरियंस पीपल आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन बट दिस वीडियो विल बी प्रूव वेरी यूजफुल फॉर फ्रेश एज वेल एज इंटरमीडिएट लेवल ऑफ इंजीनियर्स now without wasting much time let us get started friends the very first question is on your screen and the question is what will be the impact of positive skew on the maximum operating frequency of the design you can take your time try to think of its answer otherwise i am going to tell you its answer by introducing positive skew in the flip flop to flip flop path maximum operating frequency will increase now let us try to see what will be the equation for maximum operating frequency in the presence of positive skew i have introduced positive skew on the clock path what does positive skew means if a capturing edge flip flop receives a delayed version of clock with respect to throwing edge flip flop then this type of delay is called positive skew now let us try to see what will be the equation for maximum operating frequency friends before telling you the equation in the presence of positive skew let me tell you the equation in case there is no skew and both the flops are getting clock at the same time and i am expecting from all of us that we should know this equation the t minimum will be equal to tcq of first flip flop plus tcl is a delay of this combination logic plus setup time of second flip flop so this will be the equation of t minimum in case there is no skew and when both the flops are getting clock at the same time Now let us discuss the equation of t minimum in the presence of positive skew. The t minimum will be revised and it will be equal to tcq of flip flop 1 plus tcl that is the propagation delay of this combination logic plus t setup of the second flip flop minus this dollar that is the skew added on the clock path. So this is the new equation of t minimum friends if we observe this equation bit carefully we come to know that this t minimum is decreased by this time dollar so t minimum is re getting reduced by introduction of positive skew in the clock path so f max which is reciprocal of t minimum will definitely increase by reduction in t minimum so that is why i said maximum operating frequency will in increase with the introduction of positive skew in the clock path friends those who are interested to know from where these equations are coming and how these equations are calculated i have created a separate video on this subject and i have introduced lot of animations to make you understand so i will share its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section which is located on the top right corner of the video you can go through it now let us move towards your next question and your second question is what will be the impact of negative skew on the maximum operating frequency of the design let me answer it by introducing negative skew in the flip flop to flip flop path maximum operating frequency will decrease and let us see what will be the revised equation i have introduced negative skew on the clock path so when i say negative skew what does it mean negative skew means if a throwing edge flip flop that is flip flop 1 in our example is getting delayed version of the clock with respect to the capturing edge flip flop then this type of skew is called negative skew we already discussed if we have a design with flip flop 1 and flip flop 2 and there is no skew in between then this is the equation for t minimum that is minimum time period of operation now with negative skew the t minimum is revised and it is equal to t 
TCQ of first flip flop plus delay of this combination logic that is TCL plus setup time of the second flip flop plus the negative skew whatever we have introduced and the amount is dollar. If we analyze this equation bit carefully, we come to know that the minimum time period of operation is increased by amount dollar that is the delay added on the clock path. So if t minimum is increased then definitely f max which is inversely proportional to t minimum will definitely reduce. That is why I stated that by introduction of negative skew on the clock path maximum operating frequency will reduce. Those who are interested to know the calculation behind these two equations I have created a separate video on this subject and I will share its link in the description section as well as in the IBA section. Now let us move towards your next question. And your third question is what will be the impact of positive skew on the whole time equation or whole time violations? And the answer is by introducing positive skew in the flip flop to flip flop path chances of hold violations increases. Let us see through the diagram and let us see what will be the equation of hold violation in the presence of positive skew. Friends, I have introduced positive skew on the clock path as we discussed earlier as well. And this is a hold time equation in the absence of skew. Let us try to see what is there inside this equation. This is hold time of flip flop 2 which must be less than equal to TCQ of first flip flop plus propagation delay of this combination logic. Then only this design will work without any hold time violations. Otherwise, if this equation is violated, then definitely there will be hold time violations in the design. Now let us try to examine the behavior of the design when we introduce positive skew. Now revised hold time equation will be THD plus introduce skew should be less than equal to TCQ of first flip flop plus TCL that is delay of this combination logic. If we pay bit attention on this revised equation, TCQ plus TCL must be greater than equal to whole time of second flip flop plus delay introduced on the clock path, which otherwise only required to be greater than whole time of second flip flop in no skew scenario. So this way we can say that by introducing positive skew on the clock path, chances of hold violations are increased. Those who want to know how to calculate these two equations, I have created a separate video on this subject. I will share its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section on the top right corner of the video. You can go through it. Now let us move towards your next question. And this is the last question of this video and the question is what will be the impact of negative skew on the whole time equation or whole time violations. And the answer is by introducing negative skew in the flip flop to flip flop path chances of hold violation reduces. Now let us try to understand with the diagram and whole time equation. Friends, here I have introduced negative skew as we discussed earlier as well. And the delay is dollar. And whole time equation in the absence of skew we already discussed. Whole time of second flip flop must be less than equal to TCQ of first flip flop plus delay of this combination logic that is TCL. Now we have introduced negative skew. Now let us see what will be the revised equation of whole time. Now whole time of second flip flop must be less than equal to TCQ of first flip flop plus delay of this combination logic that is TCL plus Q introduced on the clock path. Friends, if we pay bit attention on these two equations, let us see in no skew scenario, TCQ plus TCL, this delay must be greater than or equal to whole time requirement of flip flop 2. Now we have introduced this negative skew. Now TCQ plus TCL plus this Q added should be greater than or equal to whole time of flip flop 2. So that means this delay dollar is assisting to fulfill this whole time equation to avoid whole time violations. So that is why I stated that 
with the introduction of negative skew on the clock path hold time violations are reduced those who want to get the details about these two equations i have created a separate video on this subject and you will get this video in the i bar section as well as in the description section friends with this i am going to wrap up this video here and i hope that this would be quite informative and interesting if you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section to get the notification of all the upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you so much for watching